The Death Star provided the Galactic Empire with a means of completely obliterating a rebellious planet, thereby giving them the ability to both crush dissent and rule through fear. But outside of the Death Stars, did the Empire have the means to effectively destroy a planet using starships within its fleet? Namely, its countless star destroyers? In this video expose, I will describe the process whereby the Galactic Empire could destroy a planet and its population, although not completely obliterate it, using only a handful of star destroyers and other Imperial starships. The ability to cause devastating damage to a planet through the use of orbital bombardment was seen extensively throughout the Clone Wars by both the Confederacy of Independent Systems and the Galactic Republic. In fact, the military strategy of orbital bombardment, whereby a starship would heavily bomb a planet, was utilized at numerous times throughout the history of the galaxy. The strategy called for the use of several capital ships to target a specific section of a planet. Because the capital ships would attack their target from the planet's orbit, the strategy would unsurprisingly cause collateral damage due to the imprecision of those carrying out the bombardment. However, some crews developed a high degree of skill, allowing them to carry out a bombing operation with pinpoint accuracy. During the Clone Wars, the Galactic Republic would utilize the strategy of orbital bombardment in order to destroy separatist armies that were deeply entrenched within a planet making traditional ground assaults extremely difficult. In contrast, the Separatists used the strategy for much more nefarious purposes. For example, led by Grievous, the forces of the Separatists carried out a bombing campaign on the city planet of Humberine. After only an hour, Grievous had completely melted the planet's crust, thereby making the planet uninhabitable and demonstrating that it was possible for starships to destroy a planet even if not eradicating it completely. But I'm sure you're thinking, non-canon expert, could you get to the heart of the matter? Can the Star Destroyers of the Galactic Empire destroy a planet? The answer to this question is yes. In fact, not only could the Empire's Star Destroyers and other Imperial starships destroy a planet, just as Grievous had done on Humberine, but the Empire instituted a code that would commence an orbital bombardment campaign with the express purpose of destroying everything on a planet's surface in its entirety. Known as Base Delta Zero, this was a naval code established by the Empire that ordered the complete and outright destruction of the target planet's surface. Base Delta Zero was defined as the systematic complete destruction of all assets of production, including factories, arable land, mines, fisheries, and all sentient beings and droids. This was achieved by commencing an orbital bombardment campaign against the planet that would result in either the planet's upper crust being reduced to molten slag or having its topsoil atomized. Therefore, although the Empire couldn't completely remove a planet's existence through this operation that was possible with the Death Stars, it could direct a devastating attack against a rebellious planet that rendered it uninhabitable. Because of the tremendous destruction that would be caused, once the order to execute Base Delta Zero had been given, unlike other codes of the Imperial military, the order could not be changed and had to proceed. This ensured that confusion was limited and reduced. The power and destruction created by a Base Delta Zero operation was greater than any other orbital bombardments that were seen since the earliest history of the galaxy. Because of the devastation that it inflicted upon a targeted planet, many Imperial officers found the tactic to be unpleasant and troubling, with some preferring that the planet be outright obliterated. Therefore, Base Delta Zero operations were used against planets that the Empire failed to take control of through more traditional military means, and when the campaigns progressed to develop, an increased punitive tone and identity. Under these conditions, with a ground assault being deemed too costly in regard to Imperial casualties, or where Imperial forces were unequipped for a direct assault, the Empire would utilize a Base Delta Zero operation. Amazingly, as few as three Imperial-class Star Destroyers could successfully execute a Base Delta Zero campaign, and bring about the complete destruction of a planet's surface in only hours. However, larger fleets would also be tasked to complete these operations as well, 
with one such fleet consisting of an Imperial Star Dreadnought, in addition to various classes of Star Destroyers, assisting in the operation. So there we have it. While the Galactic Empire's Star Destroyers could not inflict the same destruction that could be achieved with the Death Star, they could successfully destroy a planet's surface, rendering it uninhabitable. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions? Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For a Surtur class star dreadnought.